Honored guests, comrades, members of the auxiliary, and friends, the members of Carl H. Cray, post 1123, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, are assembled here to remember comrades who are being held as prisoner of war or missing in action. We must not forget the sacrifices these comrades are still making and the suffering they are still enduring for us and our way of life. They must remain alive in our minds and hearts until we know they have returned home to their loved ones or have been called to the bosom of our Heavenly Father. We must continue to give moral support to their families who continue to suffer along with them. The singing of the national anthem will be by Rose Mendoza, VFW 1123. What so proudly we hail After twilight's last gleam Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight All the ravens we watch Were so gallantly and the rocket's red flame, the bomb bursting in the air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say us the stars spangled that heavy way. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Uncover. Let us pray. Almighty God and everlasting Father, we praise and glorify you. Thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon our great nation. Father, we ask you to guide our missing comrades through every day and night. Give them a bound strength and courage to continue their efforts to survive and return home to their loved ones. If they perish, Lord, we ask you to welcome them to the place you have prepared for them where they will rest in eternal peace. Amen. Cover. Let, all, let us all rededicate ourselves to the flag of our country, reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arms. You may be seated. Mayor Sampayan will now present the proclamation. Hello, I'm Bob Sampayan, Mayor of the City of Vallejo. The proclamation I'm about to read is recognizing National POW MIA Recognition Day, September 18th, 2020. Whereas since our great nation's birth, courageous members of our United States Armed Forces have embodied the best of America with their loyalty, devotion, and patriotism. And on National Prisoner of War, Missing in Action, POW, MIA Recognition Day, we pause to remember our servicemen and women who never returned home and the hardships experienced by prisoners of war and by the family members of those who have gone MIA or as POWs as unimaginable to most Americans, but it is our country's solemn obligation to bring these heroes back to the land they serve to defend and to support the families who, each day, carry on without knowing the peace of being reunited with their loved ones. And whereas the men and women 
of the United States Armed Forces face unthinkable conditions and bear the painful cost of war, and theirs is a debt we could never fully repay. Though we will continue striving to remain worthy of their sacrifices and in honor of those who have not yet come home and the families who struggle with the fear of unknown fate, we renew our fierce commitment to our patriots in uniform and we pledge to do everything we can to bring home those missing and held as prisoners. And whereas the United States of America does not leave anyone behind, and we do not forget those who remain missing. And we will never stop working to bring home those who gave everything to our country, nor cease in our pursuit of the fullest possible accounting for those who are missing. And the veterans of foreign wars are continually working to fulfill this promise by strengthening communication with the families of those service members missing or taken prisoner. And whereas on September 18th, 2020, the stark black and white banner symbolizing America's MIA POW will be flown around America, we ask everyone to join VFW by raising this flag in your own home as a solemn reminder of our obligation to always remember the sacrifices made by our patriots who defend our nation. Now therefore be it proclaimed that I, Bob Sampion, Mayor of the City of Vallejo and the Vallejo City Council, do hereby declare September 18th as National POW MIA Recognition Day. And we urge all Americans to observe this day of honor and remembrance with appropriate ceremonies and activities. Signed by me, Bob Sampion, Mayor and the Vallejo City Council. Thank you. Here's a message from Congressman Mike Thompson. Hi, I'm Congressman Mike Thompson. Today marks National POW MIA Recognition Day, the day we honor and recognize the service of our prisoners of war. We acknowledge the deep scars they bear and the families and the loved ones who stand by them. We're also honoring the service and the sacrifice of those missing in action. They are not forgotten. The pain and the sacrifice of their families and their loved ones are not forgotten either. More than 137,000 veterans were prisoners of war since World War II. And there are still more than 83,000 Americans who are missing in action. Our district is home to many of these veterans and their loved ones. These are individuals and communities that still need our support, not just today, but every day. So as we mark this recognition, we also renew our commitment to the entire POW MIA family. We'll continue to remember your sacrifice and we will strive to support you as you bear this burden. As the Vice Chairman of the Eisenhower Memorial Commission in Washington, D.C., I was humbled to be part of the memorial's dedication this week. I was reminded of how President Eisenhower knew the heavy burden of war far too well, and he knew that the best way to honor our veterans and those who never made it home was to work tirelessly for peace. During his second inaugural address in 1957, he said, and I quote, the building of such a peace is a bold and solemn purpose. To proclaim it is easy, to serve it will be hard, and to attain it, we must be aware of its full meaning and ready to pay its full price. Together, we must take on his mission of building peace so that no other service member no family and no loved one ever has to bear these same burdens. Thank you. Here's a message from State Senator Bill Dodd. Hello, I'm Senator Bill Dodd. I'm honored today to be able to speak at the National POW MIA Recognition Day. There is no higher form of public service than being willing to sacrifice your life for your country. Every day, millions of Americans act on their oath to protect and defend the Constitution. 
When our fighters are captured or missing, fulfilling that oath, we must never rest until they are returned home. Their bravery and deeds must never be forgotten. That willingness, that courage to put country before self is not an easy burden to carry. The families of our service members help carry this burden as well. And this is especially true for the families of prisoners of war and those that are missing in action. We mourn and remember with you. You are not alone in your grief and our nation is forever indebted to you. Thank you for your service. You are not forgotten. Here's a message from Vallejo City Council member, Rosanna Werner Aliga. I am humbled and honored to be here on National POW MIA Recognition Day because my husband, veteran Nestor Aliga, is a life member of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. But more importantly, I want to help recognize and salute the men and women who have honorably served and forever sacrificed to keep America free, and to also salute and encourage the families of the missing who continue to keep the candle of hope alive. My late father, Benjamin Verder, fought in the Philippines during World War II. He did not tell many stories, but I later found out that he was a guerrilla with the legendary Hunters ROTC, and one of their missions was to provide the United States Army Forces Far East with vital intelligence on enemy forces. His fellow guerrillas witnessed the suffering of the 76,000 prisoners of war that endured the 66-mile Bataan Death March. According to the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, one of the more than 81,900 Americans that remain missing, over 41,000 are presumed lost at sea, 75% of the losses are located in the Indo-Pacific region. It is extremely important that we recommit ourselves to fulfilling our solemn pledge to make every effort to bring all of our men and women home to their families. Thank you, VFW Carl H. Cre, post 11:23, for always remembering to recognize our nation's former prisoners of war and those who are still missing in action. God bless America. Before you is the flag of the United States, the flag of our country for which our imprisoned and missing comrades are still suffering and dying. Look closely upon this beautiful symbol and listen to the words of our officers as they present their symbol, symbolic tributes. Junior Vice Commander. The flag of the United States reflects our imprisoned and missing comrades. The red stripes reflect their courage and willingness to sacrifice, even their lives if necessary. The red of our country has been made redder by their heroism. Therefore, we place these red flowers to symbolize their courage and gallantry. The white stripes symbolize the purity of purpose that our comrades have in serving under this beautiful flag. The white becomes more stainlessly pure by the motives which impel them. We place these white flowers as a reminder of their unselfish devotion to duty. The blue of our flag symbolizes truth and fidelity and represents the desire of our missing comrades for peace and happiness throughout the world. Therefore, we place these blue flowers to symbolize the great love of, that our comrades have, have for our flag and country.
as our flag symbolizes undying love for our country, this evergreen tribute, whose color is a symbol of life everlasting and signifies our undying love for our imprisoned, imprisoned and missing comrades. As the flag of the United States symbolizes victory over oppression for the living, so this laurel wreath symbolizes victory over death for those who have made the supreme sacrifice. There we place this last token of affection in honor of our missing comrades who have gone to their final reward. Uncover. Almighty God, we praise thee, we glorify thee, and we thank thee for sparing us from the grasp of our enemies. Grant us full understandings of the sufferings being endured by our comrades who are being held as prisoners of war and are still missing. We ask thy blessings upon them, that whatever comforts they are denied, whatever evil they must endure, may rebound to their everlasting happiness. Especially do we seek thy support for their loved ones. May thy grace be with them always, giving them the strength to do their daily task and the courage to meet the problems of life. We pray for those missing comrades who have been called to thy bosom, that whatever justice they may have been denied in this life has been granted them a, a hundredfold. Amen. Cover. our ceremony.